hello everyone welcome back to my channel and this video is going to be a very much overdue binder update um i was planning on doing an update probably about i want to say two and a half weeks ago but i didn't get around to doing it um and i didn't do it uh these last two uh two and a half weeks because uh, i was out on vacation i went on vacation for about a week which was much needed and then i got back and as soon as i got back I went to uh, Yoongi's uh, day one tour. So, um, sorry if my voice sounds hoarse. It is hoarse, it still hurt, y'all. It's Friday, April 28th, so this would have been at least two days after uh, day one at UBS Arena. And um, I wanted to get this done. It's not that much, it's not a lot. Um, it's a good amount, it's not that much. But I kind of want to make sure I start putting stuff away before I start losing it. Especially when there's uh, multiple PCs coming in. So um, we're going to start. Um, it will be uh, both uh, BTS and uh, TXT or my Yoonjun collection. Um, I don't. I have a good amount for both. So it, would be, it wouldn't be worth breaking it up into two uh, videos, I believe. Um, but hopefully this video is not that long. So we're going to start with BTS first since I don't have that much for BTS. And then we're going to go to TXT or Yoonjun because he has technically a little bit more than them. So let's just start. Like my miscellaneous binder. And the only one I have to go in here is uh, Jimin's uh, PC. This is what is it? This is Merch 9. Yeah, this is his Merch 9 uh, PC. So we're going to put here, I have, uh, like I said, um, in the last, last video I did, which when I looked, it looks like it was like two months ago. Um, I do have Taze coming. So I do have Taze 9 and 10 coming. And then this one, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, um, that's it for this binder. So let's go on to the next binder. Okay. My next binder is my DVD binder and we just have one card as well. Um, and that's this one. This is technically my last DVD one that will be going in here. And this is his Map of the Soul uh, Blu-ray, I believe. So we are officially, well, not officially, but up until where I am okay with how my binder is, we are done with, uh, where is it? Do I not remember where I put it at? It's been quite a while since I actually opened these binders. Where can I not? Am I missing it? I do want to. Uh, it's been a, a, over here. So this is his last PC. And this binder technically is officially done. At least done to where I consider it done. I'm not a completionist. And uh, I've learned a long time ago that I just want to not focus on back collecting. Um, I've been a lot more happier with not back collecting and less stress and I've been taking collecting just casually if you want to call it casually so there's no more uh, DVD pieces I want or I'm looking for with the exception of fifth fan meeting if I can find Tay and Jimin's fifth fan meeting for a price that I am willing to pay then I will always get those but as of right now this binder is complete so let's go on to the next one, which is going to be, I think, the miscellaneous merch binder. So this is my miscellaneous merch uh, binder. I did use a Dalma Jung for this year. Um, and we are going to go all the way to the back to right here. And I have their stamp. So this was the stamp, the PC that came with their both of their stamps. And then this is the diary fabric. So I'm actually going to alternate them since usually I don't alternate them. I always put Tay first and then Jimin. But because these are the same concept, I won't mind doing it like that. I've seen a lot of people do it and it does look good. I think Elle does her. Uh, My Sunday Rush, she does hers like that. Uh, M McKinley told me to try to alternate, but I really don't alternate. I think the only time I alternated was for this one. That was because it was the same concept. And then we have, I think, one more thing, the Busan merch. So I have these. So these were both PCs from the Yet to Come. If you watch the Yet to Come, Busan, uh, and Cinemas, uh, they were special PCs. 
I have Tay and Jimin's, of course. And we're just gonna put them here. And it's kind of smaller, but because they all, for, this is all for the same thing, I'm gonna leave it like that. So the only thing that I do have left, which I kind of don't know what to put with this, is this behind the PC. So this was from their question, uh, I think, was it was this a questionnaire PC? I think. I did have Tay's, I don't have Jimmy's. I was gonna put this in here because, but it feels like it doesn't go with this. Because let me get the binder that this would probably go with. Um, actually, he doesn't have a binder. Okay, so this is the solo binder. Um, we have quite a few things to update here. But I'm very happy about that. So I do have the last two PCs of RM. Junie's for his. Well, mine is the vinyl, which hasn't shipped yet. But uh, I'm very excited for this. So we have his ear. <laughs> uh, and then we have, I think, is this, I don't know if this is Japan Fan Club of UMS. And then the vinyl will go here. And then we are done with Junies. It's so funny. I still laugh at this. And it's so funny because I've been saying, um, lately he's been posting pictures of his feet. So I said, if we ever get another album, we're going to get feet next. Let's go on to our next lovely person. Jenny's done. And it's going to be Jimin. So I did put these in earlier. Um, because I didn't want to fight with them. But this is from his face album. So we have both of the larger posters. I use those as just fillers to divide each member solo. And we have quite a few things to put away. Not everything, because I haven't got everything yet. But uh, we have a good amount. We have a, a good amount of stuff to do. So this is just the album page right here. So if you watched my unboxing, I did a Target unboxing. Uh, I did say I was going to collect everything for Jimin, which if you're new to my channel... I do collect primarily Jimin and Tay, but for their solo projects, I've been collecting. I try to support the members as much as I can. So we're going to put them away. So with each album, you automatically got three uh, PCs. So this is from the, I think, the invisible version. So I think... I'm gonna put it like this because the back that background is different. So you got so for each album, you had three guaranteed PCs and then you had a random. Because you know why not put a random in it? So this is the first section. And then these three is from the undefinable or that one of them. And I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the same thing since this is a uh, background. Actually, one of them. This one is here, so we're going to do this one here. And then you got three randoms. So I have all three. I think my favorite one might be the heart. or I don't know, but he looks so adorable with it, doesn't he? So we're going to put them like this, since technically he's like almost looking inward in these. And then the heart should be in the middle anyway, so... We should do that. And that page is done. Sorry for the lighting, but it's been very cloudy. So we're going to have to make what we do. Um, now this is not how everything is going to go. But um, I just labeled it as I always do to make sure that I don't forget what's in there. So we don't have everything right now. But we have majority of it so let's see what we have so i do have these are the, the two japan uh fan club ones the hollow pcs uh you can't see the hollow because uh it's like i think it's in here let me see if i can take it out if you can kind of see it in a way i have a double sleeve because you know that's what we do here um and then this one also was japan fan club and then this one was the Universal Music. So, 
Mm, I'm not sure which ones was out. I wonder if I should put the Japan ones in the middle. The problem is I have, technically, I have to probably, I'm probably going to rearrange this. But I think I should do it this way. But then I will put, since the Japan, or I feel like hollow should always go in the middle. I think we'll do that. So what we're going to do is we will, I will put, tape this out. And I will just put these down here for right now. And this will rearrange once I have all of the cards at hand to actually see what um, they'll do. So we're going to put the hollow in the middle because that's what he deserves. My voice hurts so much. And do I want to do it like this? I think we'll do it like this. Alright, so that's all I have for Jimin as of right now. Okay, I fixed it. Sorry. So, um, there we go. So I do have, uh, all of them. The vinyl has not shipped yet. Uh, the vinyl has not been announced yet, but I might have to change this until it is announced because, you know, I had this. I love how Big Hit, when Big Hit does something, when you have a layout that you want and then Big Hit throws a bone and like, no, you thought you had a layout, but you didn't. So these were the albums. This was going to be all the pops minus the viewers album. And then here's my lucky draws. But when the album announced, they did do another pre-order benefit for a certain time period. And that comes with another PC. So I don't know where I'm going to put that PC at because it's technically not going to fit on any of these pages. But we will figure it out. So I do have to go back to Hobie's, which is right here. Because I did forget. I do have his uh, PC for his documentary, and I do have, I came with this, which if you haven't w watched his documentary, you really need to, and then I have this one, which is his postcards that came in it, which I really love, so I'm going to put this in here. So at first, I wanted to put it like this, because I really wanted to keep the Jack in the Box thing, only because he was like the only one that didn't have like a poster or anything, so I had to use this as like his, his filler for his solo. I really wish they had like a poster or something to do, but they didn't. So at first I was going to leave this and then put it in here because that will look good. But it doesn't seem to fit, even with the thinner sleeve that I have on it, it doesn't fit. Like it's not going in, so, and I'm not going to not leave it sleeveless because that's not what we do. And it's like technically a, a, a sleeve just needs to be a little bit thinner. So for that purpose, I think we're going to take this out and... I can either put it here, and then I will just take this out and put this in there like that. And then we will put this behind here. So I did put the bigger inclusions. I just put them in their one pockets already. Oh, I forgot about Jimmins. I do have Jimmins uh, big inclusion. Even though I said it wasn't really quite the big inclusions, but here we are. So I do have all of his inclusions. So there were two Target, uh, two Target ones. You had the postcards that came with each album, and then you had the Target uh, ones, and then you had the U.S. one. If I'm right, right? I think Target post the post. Yeah, the U.S. version had two, Target had two, and then the two that came with it. So I do have all of them here. And I did just uh, double back them for this. And they're not in the order of, like, both Target, both uh, whatever. I just put them in the orientation. And so, it's been a while since I filmed, like, a unbox, uh, binder update. So, sorry if I'm a little bit rusty. And then I have these two. Or well, these three. Now this one, well, oh, this one was the Universal Music poster postcard that came with the uh, PC. Um, I think if I'm right, the Weavers albums come with a postcard, so I'm just gonna hope to get uh, that postcard, and hopefully is this size, and then I'll just put that here, and then maybe I'll put another one there. 
and we are done with Jimin for now. So let's just, I really had a bunch of copies for this. I think I got everything. Mine is like stickers. Uh, the Japan Lucky Draws, um, we're going to act like they don't exist as we always do, um, which is fine. So for the most part, I'm happy with what I collected. So now we're going to go <laughs> to our next person. <laughs> And it is going to be Yungi. So I didn't get a picture for Yungi yet, which I I think he has a poster. I'm gonna put it in. I have not done that yet. But uh if everyone knows, Yungi dropped uh D Day, which I was supposed to technically film uh this un I was supposed to film this binder update before D Day came out. Uh, but actually, D-Day came out while I was on vacation. So that was such a hard thing to do because, like, I'm in the hotel room, like, yelling, like, to the top of my lungs. I'm thinking that they're going to kick my ass out. But luckily, they did not. So that's good. So um, I didn't set up for Yungi's as I normally don't set up for the other members because I had a plan to where this was not what's supposed to happen. I was supposed to collect. I was supposed to get just one set of each member's version so if it came with two sets that was it and then just keep whatever and not worry about it uh that didn't happen with the exception of junie and jen i did not get their lucky draws but for the most part i got a good portion of their stuff now i will say for yungi though we have a problem because um yungi has a lot so i do have some things this is not everything this is technically my target this is just the stuff that i got for target because even though I was on vacation, I was not about that life, I was going to get some PCs. So I did find a Target <laughs> where I was um, in the area that I was um, vacationing at. And I did get some Target PCs, uh, some Target albums. Um, because everybody wanted this goddamn Scar one. Which, this is probably my favorite PC. And let me tell you something. It took me four four albums to pull this. I pulled this one. Where is it? Where is it? This one. This is the other Target one. I pulled this one three times. And on the fourth try, I pulled his uh, Scar one. Which, I mean, most people would think you could have just bought it by then instead of paying the amount. But you know what? I'd rather support the artist first and then sell whatever. So this page right here is going to be for his albums because uh with his albums it was two versions uh each version came with a guaranteed pc and then two randoms so this is version one this is the guaranteed pc that you get and then i only pulled one of his uh version ones so we're gonna put this here and then the other one to go here and then i'll just put a sleeve now since i'm starting to put stuff away so Yungi has a lot of stuff. So I wasn't supposed to collect a lot of stuff. But at the end of this, once I calculated based on all the albums that I bought and all that stuff, I'm probably going to have the same amount of PCs that he has for Jimin. So he's probably going to take a three pocket. And <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. And this is version two. So this was also, this is the standard PC that she got in it. Sorry for the lighting. This is beautiful. I love the backs. You really can't see them, but this is version two. So this is D-Day. And I don't know if I showed... The first one, but it's darker. You can see, so you can see the difference between version one and version two. Okay, so sorry. And then this was the standard that you got in version one. I mean, version two. And then this is the one that I pulled for version two. I do have my. Reverse one's coming, the Reverse Global, um, a whole bunch of things. So the initial thing that I did not do is I did not join f for the Japan. But then after I saw them, I, I was upset, so I ended up purchasing them. <laughs> oh, no, I did finish it. And this is his other version, too. Sorry. So I did finish because uh, the targets that I had only had mostly version 2s and, like, one version 1. So I did pull version two so i am complete i'm gonna have dupes because like i said I, ha I bought like multiple sets from weavers i think i bought three sets from weavers and then these are going to be the uh, 
tops, which I'm not seeing figure. I have to figure out how this is going to work now because uh, this is his, uh, is this his Walmart PC? No, this is his, no, this is his Walmart PC, which I thought when he said capitalism, big hit hurt him because I would, did not expect that they were going to use Walmart. I feel like I don't remember the last time any group ever used Walmart. Uh, but we are trash and this is what we do. So here we are. So I do have his Walmart one. This is his Weverse US PC. And then these are the two targets. So the problem is this is only three pages. So I don't know where what I'm going to do here. This is the problem because there's four pops so hmm, I have no idea what to do because I don't kind of want to well I know he has a Weaver's version coming Weaver's right so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this because he does have two Weaver's versions uh the Weaver's PC album PCs which come with two so maybe we'll leave this blank for right now maybe so maybe we'll leave this blank and we'll just see how that works. Because I really don't, I didn't set up for me and I didn't set up for a lot of stuff. So I wasn't planning on collecting anything. But then he had, and then he had D-Day merch. And me being the trash that I am that I said I didn't need, I did get the D-Day merch. So I haven't learned my lesson. And then he has tour merch. So, and you know, I'm going to get tour merch. So it's a lot happening. It's a lot happening. So I guess we'll put it on this page. It might look weird. Um, should I go soft? And then, and then I wonder if I should do it. It's like, I really have to probably do some rearranging because I really was not planning on getting on this. I wasn't even planning on getting Target or Walmart. But here we are. So that is that. Like I said, it's not completely filled. I have a bunch of other uh, things that I have to put away. But let's um put these. Let's, uh, let's try to just cover this up so I can see. I have so much of his stuff coming. It's like I did not expect to collect Unity fully as much. But I feel like I'm collecting Unity fully. Um, which, you know. This is Big Hit's fault. Um, so... I have a few things coming. Like I said, I didn't do all I didn't do all his lucky draws. So he also has lucky draws, but I only like the power station one, so I did join a go for the power station. So I'm trash. I, I don't I don't know. You need technically my unofficial bias, third bias. And then we have his uh postcard. So this was from version one and this is version two. So we're gonna put this here. I think the US version comes with a postcard and then I'm gonna probably get his universal music postcard which I said I wasn't gonna get just to fill out the four pocket page and we are done with the solo album <laughs> so for young Jin, we are going to start with his album binder and I'm finally putting away temptation which I am very happy about so we're gonna start here. So I did put in his uh, bigger his poster for his uh, lullaby version, which I did not pull. So I went to Target because you know we as K-pop fans cannot wait until our orders come in. If especially U.S. K-pop fans, if Target or Barnes and Nobles have it, we are there. So this is his lullaby uh, version poster. I did not pull him actually. I got his set in a go actually um because i went to target and i got three of them and i did not pull yung jing which for this era if you watched i don't pull yung jing i never pull yung jing so we have a good amount for album pcs and stuff so let's start so i didn't have a good setup and also this is not a setup as well because um big hit once again decided to do whatever they wanted and a lot of their pops are like really like the same goddamn pc so we're gonna start with the album pcs first because i feel like that's where we like to start 
So I do have his PCs. Um, they, oh, this is a dupe. I um, so we have his day oh, daydream. Nightmare. And farewell. Oh, that's coming up good. And then we have Weavers A and B. I'm not sure which one is A and B, but we're just going to put them in. So I think because they're like that, I'm going to put them like this. And then I'm going to put the lullaby in the middle. And this, um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to put there. Because I kind of want this to stay an album page and not start putting pobs on it. So we're just going to wait for that. Then this page is... I opted to want to collect uh, like lullaby ones, like how I did for Thursday's Child. When they had that fourth version, I did collect um, OT5, so I wanted to collect the same ones for this. So I pulled I pulled Taehyung twice, and then I pulled Hunika, and then my Go, like I said, I got Yoonjun's. So we are going to just do it like this. So I just need Subin and Bong News. And then I'm just going to put this in here. This was the Target exclusive. I was not happy about this because it's a transparent PC. And it technically does fit in the nine pocket, but it's kind of like overlaps. So I didn't want that. So this will just be, I'll just decide to put it here. And it'll just stay here. So then now all I need to get is Subin and Bong News. And then I think I'll be okay. Alright, so Subin and Bong News, and then we'll be finished with that. And then here is where it gets... Okay, sorry, my battery actually died, which I don't see how, because I was charging it, but maybe I wasn't, but, um, sorry. So, like I was saying, I do have them here. So, I have a good portion of them. I don't have all of them. I actually have to see which ones I don't have. Um, this one we're going to take out, because uh, this one is actually a postcard, it's not actually a PC size, so we won't have that. So I think I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, you know what? Let's go to the back first uh, because I do have the Lucky Draws. So we're going to do the Lucky Draws first since that's, I don't have to actually think for that. I do have some fillers uh, that uh, 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 some fan made fillers that someone made that eventually will be coming so i'll probably be able to put that in there but let me see what i have going on so i do have all of his uh lucky draws so we're gonna do i guess i can take the, the top so so this is his power station round one so the the first lucky draws around one are technically like the same look from the album this is into you not to this is sound wave run one and like i said they look exactly the same and then here are the two japan ones so this is I put them on the back up. This is his UMS one, and then this is Japan Fan Club. And this one is like, the this one, I feel like there are so many pieces of him with this outfit. It's ridiculous. And this is why sometimes I know I said, oh, you know, I may not, I'm only going to pick the pops that I like, which I don't know why I always say that, because that never happened. You know what, I think I'm going to put this one here, only because... It'll look almost like the album. And then these are round twos, which they seem to do round twos like completely different. So I have no idea where I'm going with this one. This is Power Station, MTU, and Soundwave. Soundwave, MTU, and Power Station. So these are random as hell. Uh, my favorite one is probably this one. Because this one looks almost like that one, which it is. So what we're going to do is, I guess we'll put this here. No real order. Let's put him in the middle because of the blue almost. And we'll do it like that. And then I'll just leave this here because I'll eventually have a filler to put here. But Lucky Draws are done, which I'm really happy about. And then this is also Lucky Draw. I mean, I'll pop. So, 
I don't know how I'm going to do this because I'm going to take all these out actually only because I need to see what I have and what I'm waiting for. Like I know there's a few that I am waiting for and there's a few that I'm not like Nani and so Nani and I think Dear My Music was new ones that they did. Um, those take a while to come in. So I know these two I don't have. These four I'm waiting for. Um, I think I actually have everything else. So we're gonna take this out. I don't have the Music Plant Glitter one, which I really want. That's the one with his back. So I really want that one. So maybe that'll change it. But let's see what we have here. So let's just take out the ones that are the same. Because those are the same. These are the same. Looks like everything else is not the same though. So that kind of throws it off. Because I don't know. I'm not going to leave it like this. But this is like not in the order that I thought I was going to put in. But I don't know. Um, hmm. I feel like these two are going to have to go on the... Hmm. So what I was thinking was, because this is... I think what I'm going to do is actually a line. So this was, this is the We Wish Japan one, and it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see it, per se, but it's like, it's almost, I think it's like hollow. Right? Am I right? It looks like a hollow. Let me see. Am I right? It's like, maybe it's not, maybe I just made this up. No, it's like a glittery material. So, I'm wondering if I should... So this is the Weaver's Global, and that is a hollow. I know Music Plant is a glitter, and this one glitters, so maybe I might put this, put it like this. So if I get the Music Plant, because he's facing the same way, but it's his back, so I think I'm going to see how this works. This is his Weaver's, what did I say this was? Weaver's Japan. And then this one is the Weaver's Global, and this is a hollow, so I think I'm going to do that. And then, I think these both should go here. These are both, I think this should go like this. So this is his EMS pop. So I think we're going to put that here. This is his lullaby pop, which like I said, lullaby, they really took that version. And this is Nav Naver PC. So I think we're going to do that because of the blue. And I think... Oh, wait. Hmm. I want to do that. I want to get his glitter one. And I think we'll do... This is his lullaby EMS pop. And then this is Yes24. So I think we're going to do this for right now. I'm going to change it because I think they... Um, and then we have these two. So I think I'll just keep this like this for right now. And then I will put the shoppy one in the middle. Because I still have uh, these two, which I have secured all of them. Um, and then, I don't know. We'll put that maybe in a five box pattern. I don't know. Because I want to do for five, so maybe I will put it in a five pattern. Maybe I'll just put sorry if I just hit you. I think we'll do this. This. actually I think for the most part I think I got all of them I didn't take the shot I think I got all of them yes 
I think I have all of them. I didn't pay attention to the backs at all. So this might change how it looks, but I'm just gonna put them in for right now. And then we're gonna go to Japan, so I'll keep me. So I do have one PC, uh, that, that, empty draws. Oh, I do have this. And this was for these. So this was technically the merch that they had with uh, Temptation. So it was like a tin can set, whatever. So I really did like them, so I got the tin can set. I did host to go for this, and then I just bought a set for myself because why not? This video seems like it's not going to be the best because I have not done this in a while. So, we do like that. And then I'll find something else to put there. Um, I can put this here. This is a replica of one of their broadcast things that they did from Lola. I don't really liked it, but it was like people were selling this for almost like $500. So, I'm just going to put it here. It doesn't go, but it's a replica and I love it. So, we are done. So, let's move on to our next section. I stopped it because I'm back and I just figured out what I want to put in this page. Um, <laughs> this is going to look stupid, but why not? We're clowns. So, I, because I joined like all the pops for the lullaby ones, it was just inclusions only. I do have three lullabies. So, why not be. <laughs> so, I thought to fill this page out. <laughs> I'm just going to fill this page out with this version. <laughs> And we're done. So let's flip through this um, and we'll see what we have. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he might have. Hingjun uh, is like the most person that I have dupes of. I don't have any dupes of like. I mean, Jimin, I do. His face album, I do have dupes of, but that's because I bought like a thousand copies. Um, but this is how it looks. I like, I like. Like I said, when we get the other pops and if we have to change it, we do. And let me put the postcards that I said I was not going to collect. But here we are. It's because I just happen to have them. And then I'll find probably, I think one of his postcards for that. So let's move on to Japan. Because this is really quick. But I'm finally, finally finished. Can we finally clap for this? Like, this... I thought I would never, ever see this. So I joined a go for this UMS PC when Good Boy Gone Bad came out. So last year, August maybe, if I'm right, maybe, maybe August did it come out? And it was like such a horrible experience. The gone that I had uh, did through, people told me after the fact that, you know, she overprices, um... She joins a bunch of goals, but she doesn't leave updates, but she didn't. I didn't get an update to probably, I want to say, I want to say maybe a month ago. I'm not even sure. Um, but finally, and then I probably overpaid for this. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, cause looking at the pieces now, I probably paid more than I should have for this one. But, you know, I thought after a while I would learn my lesson, but I didn't. But this one was hard because for that one, I didn't have, I didn't pull him. I don't, I don't remember who I pulled. And I couldn't find a trade, so I had to buy him. But we are done. We are done with this page, finally. Just in time. Because yesterday, they announced their comeback. Um, in July, so we have enough time, though. But is it July or is it June? I can't remember if it's June or July. But either way, they announced their comeback. So we'll be doing this all over again. But I think I'll just buy the PCs. I don't think I'll join any goals, mostly for it. Because... You know, they're usually jewel cases. I'm not a fan of jewel cases. So, but who knows? Okay, so we have one more PC to put away in this binder. And then this is his uh, cafe. So when he was promoting Good Point Going Bad, when they were promoting Good Point Going Bad, they had a cafe, a Japan cafe. So they had this one, which was a Japan cafe. And then Weverse had a Weverse benefit one. Weverse uh, Japan had their own benefit so of course me being the person i did i get that got it so for this one i think i'm gonna change it up because i think i'm gonna take this one out 
Uh, let me see if I have a sleeve. Because I think I'm going to take this one out. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this page. It's going to look weird, but these are the poster, uh, postcards that came with it. So I think I just want to do it like this to keep them together. Because it will look stupid to have another page for this. Um, but let me see if I can have a sleeve to try to maneuver it into one. Actually, this could. So we're going to do I'll try to have to make a sleeve so they won't like move around in here. But this is what I was going to go going with. So if I can find a sleeve they both can fit in, probably tape it to the sleeve. But this is going to move as soon as I turn it. But that's what I was going for. And then it'll be like that. So. And then for this one, I think what we're going to do is we're going to change this so we won't have that gap. Mm, I think what we'll do is we'll take these out. And then we'll just have to do it like this. And then we'll just do it like this. Like I normally do. My pattern that I normally do. And the, leave it blank. So then... It'll go like this. And Good Boy Gone Bad is finally complete. And our album binder is complete. I feel like that took a lot longer than I wanted it to. So I'm sorry in advance for that. But let's move on to the last binder, which is his non album binder. Everything else. Alright, so we have his non album binder. And we are going to start right here. So I finally finished his uh, Seasons Greeting. So this is the home version. And I put in there. And then this will just leave enough time for them to grow. If they decide they want to keep the three pattern, uh, they want to do the, we're going to do different versions, which I hope they don't. Um, this binder is pretty much, I want to change it because I kind of want to put things differently so i think i'm gonna move this back this is memories um and i think i want to do actually a dvd page because this is the memories page this is not a memory pc but they did do the release the other memories now i did not get the i did not get it um this time around only because i was just trying to save on space but i don't know if i want to so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this out for right now because what i think i'm gonna do is there's two of them is I'm probably just gonna make this like a memories page. And then we'll make this a memories page and then we will start a DVD page. Because I think Japan, um, Japan announced their, uh, com not a comeback, the Love Sick Tour of Japan uh, DVD and Blu-ray. I did join a go for that. Um, I'm not sure. The pictures look like they're PC size, but then sometimes they look like they're postcards, so I'm not really sure. But we are going to use our last nine pockets. Well, hopes of this. And this is just a Japan one, so I know eventually there's going to be a U uh, Korean one. So, I literally only have two. So, I have two nine pockets left. So, what we're going to do is, maybe I shouldn't put this here. No, I'm not going to put this here yet. For right now, we'll just leave. We'll just leave him right here for right now, and then when we get it, we'll. But my whole goal is this is going to be a memories page, and then I'm going to do a concert one, and then this DVD. This technically isn't a concert; it's a fan life, but I'm going to do a fan life concert and put it in the concert binders part. But I do want to move this because I feel like it shouldn't be here. So I think I'm only going to move it to like. Right here, because this is the pictures, and then it turns into seasons. Be honest. That wasn't like a really big change, but it was for me. And then, this page has to be worked on because I have a few things, and it's not working. So I have this uh, ver This is um this year's membership. You can see, and I just put his little ID one on the back. And as you can see, it's their membership. And then this was last year's, uh, what was this? Questionnaire PC, if I'm right. This was his questionnaire PC. 
So there was this question in PC for last year. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Um, and I do have his renewal PC coming as well for this year. So I think I was thinking about taking this out and then taking these out and then either doing it like this because these are the membership PCs. So this was uh, what first one or second one? No, this was the second, this is the third. And the third they had four, which kind of, two of them, which kind of threw it off. And then this would be the fourth one. And then the thing is, these are the renewal ones. So this was, I think this was if you renewed for second, this is renewed for third, and the other one I have for fourth. So I'm confused on if I should, if I should move these, because these are technically not memberships, but this is like Moa Week. So I'm wondering if I should have a separate page for that. But for this one that they did, the PC that they have looks like it's probably a mini PC size. So I think what we'll do is um, this is going to look weird. This is a questionnaire PC, which is so random. I want the other questionnaire PC, but that one goes for a lot of money. It's the one where he's wearing like the red bow. Um, I'll put a picture up if you don't know what I'm talking about, but that one runs for, I've seen that go for almost $300, and it's like I'm not paying that much money. Um, so, I don't know if I should do one, two, if I should do it down here. But that's technically, well not this one, that's technically the renewal one, because I have the fourth renewal, or if I should put the renewal ones on their own page. Oh, a lot to think about. I don't know yet. So, you know what? Well, we're just going to put this here for right now. And we'll put this one down here until I get my other one. This is not going to stay here. And then these two, we're just going to keep here. I don't like this page at all. Uh, but we'll fix this as it comes. Um, and then the next one, which I know I have to check, is Deco. So, they did a Deco kit, which I did not... Uh, buy a deco kit I did join and go for and this time you know once again every time you think you have a layout you don't so they did a deco kit so they did so with each one it was nothing was random thankfully like unlike uh, last time when you um this was random but thankfully I don't know if you could see I pulled him uh it wasn't random this time so everybody got the same thing so you had a set of pcs for each member you had a polaroid and then they decided this time we're going to do a pre-order benefit if you a pre-order benefit so this i got yoon Jun set so the thing is at first i was going to put it on this page because it was just to fill it up but then i feel like you know what that doesn't seem like that makes sense so I think what I will do is I think I'm going to make a deco kit page with Yoon Jun stuff because I feel like that makes more sense. So we'll make this back into a five pattern. Why did I just do that? That is so stupid. That's not a five pattern. Wow. That is not a five pattern at all. I don't know where I was going with that. Why do I feel like I can't do? Oh, because there's this is not supposed to be in the middle. Oh my god. There we go. I I don't know what happened there. I'm just, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not running a lot of hours of sleep because I've been like, you know vacationing going to concerts i will say i am excited to see them i see them next month uh when they come to new york they're going to be at the ubs arena the same arena that you was in i'm going to see them may 9th and 10th i'm very excited for that so i think we'll do it like this and then we will start a nine pocket page here my last nine pocket page 
I can't believe I, I literally, like, I have two nine pockets left, which technically I don't because that other nine pocket's gonna have to go for uni. I can't believe I have not paid attention to them, like, going out, going low. And it kind of sucks because I haven't paid attention in a while because I've been slowly, like, not collecting as much and more focusing on current things. So I think I'll put this one in and also like that. And so I think it's been, like, so much. And then I know, sorry, I think I moved it again. Um, I usually get Andy Jack sleeves. This is usually what I use for my binders because I have a foreign binder. But I was thinking about trying out the Japan ones. So I did order, I am, well, I will be ordering probably Japan ones. Um, they probably won't come until later, though. So maybe around my next time I have another uh, video, whenever that is. I don't know when it'll be. But maybe that'll work. All right. So how does that look? I think that doesn't look bad. And then if they decide to do another deco kit, then that'll be ready. And we'll just keep building. And then once Big Kid decides to change how they want to drop things, um, we'll probably be back here complaining about it. But I think for right now, that makes the most sense. All right. And now we will go to concerts. Um, so I do have tour merch. So this is what I was talking about, the concept of when Big Hit destroys everything. So everybody knows if you are a TXC collector that since, uh, what was it? When did they start doing this? Uh, Act Boy? Since Act Boy, they started doing the 10 pocket mini PCs, which I don't, 10 mini PCs for TXC, which I don't know why. And it's annoying because as you know, well, they don't know because they don't care about that stuff. But as a collector, as you know, we only have eight pocket pages for these PCs. Let me see if I can lift this up a little bit. So it's always been hard trying to figure out what to do with the two, because unless you want to put it on the back, I mean, you can put it on the back. I know people that do that. So I had a method, which I did like. So what I did was I would pick the eight that aesthetically went together. Um, so act boy, as you can see, they kind of went together. This one together, Mullabite together, Love Sick and one together. And then what I would do is I would put the other two on its own separate page. Now, the way I did it was one always had the border, so it was easy just to take. Uh, the one of 10 card always had the border, so it would be easy to take. And then the odd ones out, I just put here. So I was like, okay, I'm going to set it up just like that. Well, this is when I say when Big Kid decides, you know, we're not going to do that. This is his one of 10. Granted, I like the hollow effect and I love his signature, but there's no border. So now it's not going to look right, but we're going to put it here because I always put the one that's not the same as everyone else. And this is it. So we are going to put his one of 10 with all the other one of 10s and look how that looks. It just bothers me. I don't know why, but let me turn it around. If you don't look at the bottom, it, it bothers me now because there's no border but whatever so now so i did complete this set i had uh, made it go uh for this and everybody was claimed now with the go you get the 10 pcs but it's like you never actually finish the set so i was only missing one pc which was his four of ten i did find it for the tree so we have his whole set so now it's just figuring out We'll just put it like this for you guys. We'll figure now. It's just figuring out which PC is going to go here with the other one. So if we lay them all out like two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this seven? Seven, eight, nine, and then this is his ten. It's which one of these should be out the outcast so i feel like it should be this one since this is the only full body one if i take that one out and then i just have to move everyone over then it'll look like this because also 
this is the first time that all their backgrounds are the same. So it's like, it's not like four are different or five are different and the other ones are not. They're all technically the same. So I can do it like this and then put him on the back. Even though this one is kind of partially full body, but then that one's a full body. And I just feel like a full body wouldn't work. So we're going to go with this and let me see. I know it's like, this is a lot to, to have to deal with. Oh, and like I said, these are what the backs look like. They're very pretty. I love the colors of this. Um, so, we'll do that. How does that look? Like, wow, I did put it in the wrong spot. That's crazy. So, that's how it looks. And then, that means this little guy will be the one that will be living here with the other ones that can't fit on an eight pocket page. And I'm glad that this is finished. All right, so the last couple of things is this is the technically concert fan live merch. So everything that they, that they sell at the concert comes with something. So I do have uh, a few, just uh, two things. So this was the special card that you got if you bought the set. If you bought the the full mini PC set, you got this card. So I think what I'm going to do is now it kind of will work out in a way. Because this was the one where I bought together. And then these three are from Lovesick. So we can actually move these up. And that'll finish out this page, this line. Because for uh, for this concert, uh, there was this one. I think there's a track jacket, uh, the their jacket PC. I think I joined a go for that one. And then there is I also purchased, which hasn't came yet. So for Lovesick, they did these little film strips, and I said I wasn't gonna do film strips, but I really don't have nowhere to put them. I don't know if the the three pocket uh vertical ones fit these because they're kind of wide but um i did buy it because you know i'm trash i bought this one so i did buy the other one that hasn't come in yet that'll come in later and that comes with like a it's like a, it was like a it's like a photo card it's like a four cut film strip binder so i'm assuming that means if they're doing a binder for it i'm assuming that means it's going forward for the concerts we're always going to have one so you know i guess i will be buying them it would also come with like a little mini pc of like a drawing uh handwritten or something for each member so i think i will put that here so i th or that might go here it's i know it's a white background so we have that then we have well we'll just put this here because i have this now so we have this then we have the jacket and then we have the mini pc and then this is going to be, I put. I may not keep it here. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it here because I don't want it to slide out because I'm very happy about this one. So this PC, which is the last PC that we will be putting away today, is probably my most favorite PC out of this whole binder update. This is, so they did a, what's the purpose, a MOA zone at their concert. Was it Seoul? They did it or Japan? I'm not sure. I think it was Seoul when they did it. And they had their first little MOA zone and they was they was having these PCs, which is so beautiful. I am so glad I joined the go early because some of these are going for almost $200, $300 for this. Um, and I did not pay that at all. Nearly not as much as that. Because as you know my rule, I don't pay anything over three digits. It has to be under three digits. So it's not that. But, I mean, people are paying. You're going to pay whatever you want. I'm not going to make a spiel about what people pay because it's your money. But um, I was able to get this for a really good price compared to the price that I see them now. So I'm very excited for this. So this technically, even though it's like if it's a nine pocket, there's really nowhere to put a nine pocket. So I'm going to put him right here. And that's where he's going to live. And I'm so excited for that. I'm so happy to see them. I've been really good with not seeing any videos or clips of the tour. Besides, like, the little things that uh, TXT posts themselves, like, for their, like, Instagram page, their main page. 
I see that. But to actually see like actual clips of like the stuff. So it's like I don't, but I do know the track list, but I don't know the track list fully. Like I know, like of course I know there's going to be songs from Temptation on there and stuff like that. But um, oh, we do have one more thing I lied. But I'm very excited. So we are going to go actually right here to this page. This is the collaboration page. So um, they do. So he does have another Manio uh, collaboration PC, which I think I was going to, I'm going to get. <laughs> but there is uh, one more PC. One, it's not a PC that I want to uh, get. So this is from his collaboration that they did with Kundal. So it is technically like a live photo. I think this is beautiful. I haven't taken out the sleeve that I uh, got in because I feel like this sleeve is it fits, but it's not. I don't have a sleeve that fits this. So until I find a sleeve that fits this, um, it's gonna stay here. But for this, uh, each member you can pick a scent. It was like stuff right here. So this is what I got. I'm just promoting. I I love. Um, so I haven't used it yet. But I heard good things about it, so I do want to. I do want to try it. Um, but uh, I got this, and it came with if you bought a certain amount, you got an OT five set. And I claimed me and Junior, of course, on the go. Um, granted, he has nowhere to live because I wasn't planning this, but we're gonna just put him right here. And he's gonna live there for right now. All right, so let's go on to the page of. Uh, where he's looking I don't know what page to put on. So you know what, we'll just leave it here. All right, <laughs> so we are gonna end the video right here. If you stay to the end, thank you for watching. I know this was long overdue. Um, I still have Jimin's, uh, the rest of his uh, album pieces to come in, of course, Yoongi's and then Yoongi's merch, which hasn't even gone on pre-order yet, online at least. Um, I'm excited to see what everyone's doing. I'm excited for TXT Tour. I am excited for the new comeback that's coming. I'm excited for everything. So I do hope that you guys enjoy all the concerts that you're going to. Because I know there's so many concerts happening right now. All the new comebacks that have happened, that, are, that have happened, that will be happening soon. The upcoming ones. Um, this is a great time for K-pop right now. If you're a collector, this is a great time for collecting. Don't get overwhelmed. Just enjoy it. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. If you would like to know when that is, like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to put the notifications on because I'm not that consistent. But until next time, as always, love yourself, be happy, and happy collecting. Bye.